Hey guys, welcome back. So today we've got our 4230 turbo build. Uh, it's all wrapped up except for one thing. You want to tell everybody what went wrong here yesterday? Yeah, I suppose we had a block heater failure. It wasn't put into the block. It wasn't a genuine down here block heater. Do you have it up here somewhere? Or not? Yeah, it's laying on the platform here. It's just not as good a pattern as the one from deer. There was really nothing holding it in except an O-ring. O-ring and it squeezes it together, but it just wasn't a very good pattern. So it shot out on the side of the road yesterday and we had to do a little rescue mission and, and get it here to the shop. So we got the right one now. Correct. Okay. So we're gonna throw it on the dyno today and see what kind of horsepower it gets. Uh, what are you expecting? A lot. A lot. Yeah. Like 200? No. No? Not that much. So we got high compression pistons, M and W turbo, um, what else? New injectors. That's probably it on the performance side. Yep. High performance. High performance. All right, we'll roll the intro and we'll get to it. So before we get to the dyno run, let's go over what we did to this tractor, just in case this is your first time here and you haven't uh, been watching the build this whole time. So Jake bought this 4230 a while back. I'm not sure when he actually bought it, but it had 11,000 hours on it. Uh, we went ahead and did a full rebuild, including high compression pistons. These 4230s are known for having, uh, oh, the alarm's going off, we're breaking in. These 4230s are known for having uh, starting problems. They don't really like to start, especially when it's cold. So uh, they actually lowered the compression on a, here's, here comes grandpa, coming in hot. <laughs> if you guys saw that, you saw grandpa's short thumb. We'll have to, we'll get him to talk about that one day about how he lost his thumb. But uh, going from a 4020 to a 4230, they actually lowered the compression to make these tractors last longer. So uh, we went ahead and put some high compression pistons in there. We got our kit from Reliance. Uh, Jake is actually a Reliance uh, dealer. Um, so we went ahead and got that, did a, t a total rebuild, new bearings, all that stuff. And then we went ahead and did a M and W turbo and Jake's got a couple kits and we threw one of those on there, including the M and W uh, exhaust manifold and thermostat housings and what else had the radiator gone through it was leaking and had that redone new new core put in it we got her stripped down there's no platform uh, it took the fenders off and everything I'm actually down at the dealership about a week after we dynoed this right now uh, to put this video out but our plan is that we're leaving it, leaving it down here until we can wash it and get it ready for paint so that's the story there just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background before we jump into, into the dyno part of the video uh, so that you guys know what's going on if you haven't been watching the build. Um, I'd encourage you to go back and watch that. I spent a lot of time on those videos and uh, I've had some pretty good feedback. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to the dyno and we'll see what it makes. Okay, so if you saw that number, you're probably thinking, wow, 160 horsepower, just about 160 horsepower. That's pretty good for 4230. But 
that number is actually not right at all. So we went ahead and on the same day we dynoed this one, we dynoed this tractor. That tractor had a much different setting than the 4230 and we forgot to switch the dyno over to the 4230 setting. So we were running off the 5020 setting and uh, yeah, so that's not right. So here's the actual dyno run and we'll see what it makes. Okay guys, so we made about 135 horsepower. That's kind of the neighborhood Jake was expecting. I wasn't sure what really it was going to make. Um, the high compression pistons had a little bit to do with that and being a fresh rebuild, it helped a lot. But the turbo is the main contributor and the uh, new injectors as well. And uh, the fuel may or may not be turned up all the way. So um, I was told to be careful talking about fuel on YouTube. Uh, for all the EPA guys out there, but it may or may not be turned up, so it's probably not. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'd encourage you to go back and watch the other videos, uh, and maybe subscribe. Stick around, we got some cool stuff on the way. Uh, my 5020, we dynoed it as well. That video is coming out soon. Uh, our barn burned down, you guys probably saw that. Uh, we actually, I'm not going to give a full update right now, but. Uh, trusses are on the way and we're gonna have some pretty pretty cool videos coming up rebuilding that and uh, fixing the other barn so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one